So are you think about moving from Houston to Atlanta and you're wondering, is the grass really greener on the other side? Well, good news for you. I've lived in both Houston and Atlanta lived in Houston for about eight years and Atlanta going on 11 years. So I can give you my personal take on the two cities. They're very similar in a lot of ways and they're also a little bit different. So stay tuned. Let's talk all about living in Atlanta and Houston and find out if it is right for you. Let's get into it right now. My name is Molly and welcome to my channel. If you are new or returning and you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Subscribe, hit that button and give this video a like. It really helps me put my videos out there in front of people that are trying to search the Atlanta area. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a like and hit that bell if you wanna be one of the first to be notified when I do post a new video about the Atlanta area. But you guys, I'm here to make your move to the Atlanta area a little bit easier. I wanna show you around different neighborhoods, tell you about the Atlanta area and hopefully play matchmaker for you and Put, connect you with a neighborhood that fits your lifestyle and your budget. So don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am a real estate agent, so I love helping you guys out and I love getting your calls and your emails and texts. So, you know, any questions you have, put them in that comments box below or shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. All my, all my contact information is below, but let's get into it. Let's talk. Is moving from Houston to Atlanta a good idea? So, I will say I actually love living in both cities, but I know some people when they go to Houston, they absolutely hate it and they like Atlanta and then vice versa. I know some people that don't like living in Atlanta and actually love Houston. So if you're watching this and you've lived in Houston and you now live here in Atlanta, let the viewers know what your take is on the two cities because my opinion is just my opinion and it can differ from a lot of yours. So. Before I get into some more of the technical stuff, you know, like the size of the cities, the population, etc., all those kind of normal boring facts, I'm just going to jump into random stuff that pops into my head when I am comparing the two cities. And first thing I'm going to talk about is one of the roads in um, Houston reminds me about a road here in the Atlanta area. So I used to live on Westheimer and Derry Ashford when I first moved to Houston. And Westheimer is one of those roads that, you know, it starts on one end of the city, like on the Western side, and you can just hop on that and drive all the way down into the Galleria area. We have a similar road here in Atlanta called Ponce de Leon. I think I butchered that name in a previous video. Someone called me out on it. I called it Ponce de Leon. It's actually Ponce de Leon. Anyway, or we could just say Ponce for short. So Ponce goes from basically the city of Decatur on the far east side, and it goes all the way through the neighborhoods until you get to Midtown. So it can carry you all the way through a big stretch of the city. So I just found that very interesting that both cities had a very kind of similar um, major road that cuts through all these neighborhoods. Another thing that I, well, I really, really miss from Houston is their grocery stores. I know that sounds a little strange and I never thought I was becoming like, you know, who cares about a grocery store, but Houston had better grocery stores. So Houston and Atlanta both have Kroger. Atlanta has a Publix, which is another big grocery store chain here, but in Houston, they had something called HEB, which is a Texas chain. I never thought I would miss it until I don't have it anymore. And I think what I missed about it is I liked a lot of the HEB products, but also they had fresh tortillas that you just cannot find that here in Atlanta. You're going to be stuck with the, the Orida brand that you can find in any grocery store, but HEB had some great homemade fresh tortillas. And in fact, whenever I have a friend that I'm going to be meeting from Houston that's coming to the Atlanta area, I have them pack like 12 packs of the fresh tortillas that I will freeze and um, eat throughout the next couple of months because they are so good. So um, yeah, the grocery store, HEB is really great. And Houston had a really great kind of frou-frou um, grocery store called Central Market that was over in the Galleria area. It was just a really nice grocery store that had some kind of like gourmet food, some like really great prepared meats. Um, and it was just like a nice place to 
do some grocery shopping on a Sunday afternoon. They would have live music and you could buy a fresh sandwich and hang out there. So it was just a really nice grocery store. So I do miss the grocery store. Another thing I will say is, you know, if you are a transplant, transplant in Texas. I was a transplant in Texas. I'm not from there. And you'll find that a lot of people in Houston are not from Houston. Same thing with Atlanta. A lot of people are not from Atlanta. But one thing in Texas, I mean, they're proud Texans. They're proud of their state, um, which is not a bad thing. You know, it's cool. But I just remember going to the Houston Astros baseball games. And during the seventh inning, they would sing deep in the heart of Texas and be clapping and I thought these people were crazy. I still think it's a little odd, but yeah, in Atlanta, people don't do that at the baseball games. The Texans are very proud of their state. If you're into shopping, you know, both cities have a lot of different pockets of shopping, but the main area in Houston was the Galleria. It had the mall, it had some boutique shops, and you know, the fancy homes that were near there was over in River Oaks. The same thing here in Atlanta. If you've heard anything about Atlanta, uh, you probably have heard of Buckhead, and that's where the main shopping is for the um, Atlanta area, the malls, boutique shops, fancy restaurants, that kind of thing, and a lot of the big fancy mansion homes that um, you know the stars live in, like Nicki Minaj, Justin Bieber, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, the Galleria is like Buckhead. As far as suburbs in, in Houston versus Atlanta, so, I, Houston has so many suburbs and they're all just big and um, sprawled out. But I remember when I lived in Houston, Katy was really big and they were building out that area and it was like the new place to go. And they had really, really great schools and not too far from driving into the city. I would equate Katy to kind of similar. It's going to be on a much smaller scale, which would be the city of Decatur. It's a small little area, great schools quick commute into the city but again Decatur is not as big as the Katy suburb the Woodlands I know that's a big popular nice uh, suburb of Houston I would say the same would be the equivalent would here would be Alpharetta Alpharetta has a lot of newer homes they have this big shopping area called the Avalon which is um, a great place to hang out walk around grab some dinner do some shopping Houston has a lot of great suburbs north of the city. Same thing here in Atlanta. I'd say like our prime suburbs are north of the city. You've got Marietta, Dunwoody, Sandy Springs, Alpharetta, Roswell. Um, Tucker is kind of on the, the opposite side um, towards the east. But yeah, we have a lot of great suburbs. I'd say a lot of them are north, but we do have some good ones that are south of the city. I just feel like they take longer to uh, commute from for whatever reason and I know Houston has some great ones north of the city and I know some great suburbs that are south of the city like Pearland I have some friends that lived grew up there and commute into the city so I would say Houston is a big commuting city Atlanta is still a commuting city as well but you know infrastructure wise you know both have city buses which are always annoying when you're getting behind one, you're stuck, you can't go around them. But one thing Atlanta does have the upper hand on is we have a subway system called MARTA. Now, I say that loosely because the subway system is not that great. It makes a big X through the city. So, you know, there's if you're getting off on a spot there and you can walk just off of the, the, the line, then you're okay. But if you're getting anywhere in those uh, corners where there's no MARTA line, then you're having to either get an Uber, get a taxi, um, or hop on a bus. So our subway system is not that expansive. So I don't want to brag about it too much. Okay. Now that I have some of those random facts just out there for you, now I'll step back and talk about some of the, the drastic differences or similarities. And first thing we have to do is talk about the size of the cities and Houston is by far a massive area. Okay, when I graduated college from a small area in Kansas, I moved directly to Houston for a job with an oil and gas company. Like most people in Houston, they're working for an oil and gas company. But I think my parents probably like died inside when I told them I'm gonna move to the fourth largest city. And, um, but you know, I, you find your niche in Houston and same thing in Atlanta, even though it's big and spread out, you kind of find your little area that, and you kind of just stick to it. So in terms of size, I'm going to look at my notes here so I don't botch this, but um, 
in terms of population, so Houston is the fourth largest city in the United States with 2.3 million in the city of Houston. Compared to Atlanta, if you're comparing just the city of Atlanta, it's um, the 38th largest city and it's like 500,000 people. But when you start including the metro um, Houston area versus the metro Atlanta area, they're almost similar in size. So Houston is 7.1 million and Atlanta is 6 million. So when you include the, the all the surrounding suburbs and um, they're pretty fairly similar in size, but I will say like when you're in Houston, driving from one end of the city to the other can take forever and it's just massive in terms of just overall size. So um, Houston is five times bigger. It covers 665 square miles versus Atlanta is 136 square miles. So yeah, when you're comparing size-wise, yeah, Houston is just massively bigger. As far as people in both of these cities, now I will say both cities kind of have that Southern flair about them. Nice people, people like to talk, take their time. So in that regard, I think that Atlanta and Houston are very similar. But when you look up the diversity numbers, there is kind of a drastic difference. So in Houston, again, I'm gonna to have to look on my notes here. So in Houston, 54% of the population is white, 22% black, and then 13% Hispanic and 6% Asian. Whereas on the Atlanta side, it's actually 52% black, 40% white, and 4% Hispanic and 4% Asian. Now, I will say, I totally noticed that there was a lot more of the Hispanic culture in Houston. I mean, they're right by the Mexican border, so it's only natural that you're gonna have the a higher Hispanic population there. Um, also, you know, if you're wondering about the gay population, both cities have a great gay population, I know, and Houston, um, the, the big area was over in the Montrose area here in Atlanta. It really is like a midtown is like the epicenter, but I will say they, the gay population is all over the city. It's not just in midtown, but that is where you're going to find your core population there. As far as traffic, now I will just say up front, both cities have really awful traffic. Okay, the one thing I do love about Houston though is that they have those access or feeder roads pretty much all over the city. So if you know I-10 is crammed, you can usually get off on a feeder road and travel that for a while. Atlanta doesn't have that as well. And Houston, oh, I love their grid system. Like it's so easy to navigate a nice grid system. Atlanta, we don't have that. It is like spaghetti noodles slapped all over the place. There is no rhyme or reason. And to this day, 11 years later, I'm still using my GPS to navigate some of these streets because it's just, um, it's just really hard <laughs> to figure out sometimes. But the traffic is really bad in both cities, to be honest. I remember when I lived in Houston, they were doing the big I-10 expansion, and I think uh, they have like 26 lanes or something like that. And I think the most that Atlanta has at any one point in the city is like 12 lanes. So definitely a lot more lanes in Houston, uh, but they're all full from what I've heard from my friends that still live there is it's still completely full. It's like they need to expand more, but there's just not enough room. Um, so yeah, the traffic is pretty bad in both cities, but I will say at least Houston, there's usually a lot of other highways that you can navigate around. And, you know, just for some comparison again, so Houston has a bunch of different like rings around the city. Houston has, you know, the 610 loop, then they have the Beltway 8, and then they have the Katy Freeway, I think Highway 99. I remember when I lived there, the Katy Freeway kind of stopped at I-10 and it didn't go north. And from what I understand now, it's built up north around the Houston area. So it's just massive versus when you look at Atlanta, we only have one loop and that is I-285. There's no other um, outer rings to our city. Now let's talk about which city has the better cost of living, which one's cheaper. And I would say Houston. I noticed when I moved from Houston to Atlanta, just certain things cost more for whatever reason. But let's first talk about home prices. So the median home price in Houston is roughly 267,000 and versus Atlanta, which is right around the 400K mark. And um, one thing that you will also notice is property taxes. Um, so 
in Houston, they are actually higher. They're actually like 2.3% and in Atlanta, there are only 1%. But the flip side of that is that Houston does not, well not Houston, the state of Texas does not have state income tax versus Georgia does have state income tax. So you kind of offset that lower um, or the absence of state tax with having a higher property tax. So it's the yin and the yang, right? Um, but other things I noticed was just like cost of random things. So like um, the cost of dry cleaning, I noticed, I don't remember what the price I paid in Houston, but I just remember I felt like it was two times as much when I moved to Atlanta. Same thing with lawn care. I think it may be just because there's a lot more of the Hispanic population and they're really good at mowing lawns. Okay. Let's be honest. But I remember I would pay someone 25 bucks a week to mow my lawn. And then in the winter time, you know, I didn't have to pay anyone here in Atlanta. I feel like it's again, twice the cost and you have to usually sign a year contract. And I kind of thought, why do I have to have someone pay someone to mow my lawn in the winter when the grass is dormant? But because Atlanta has so many trees, there is constant leaf blowing going on. And I'm happy to pay someone to do that because it gets to become kind of a hassle and an annoyance. So um, you definitely pay a little bit more for lawn care, but hands down, I would say Houston is the cheaper city to live in. As far as traveling in and out of these cities, I will give this one a tie. So each city has their own headquartered airline. So Atlanta has Delta and Houston has United. And there is one difference that I will say, Houston has two airports. You have the International or Intercontinental Airport up north, and you have the Hobby Airport down south, which mainly services, you know, southwest. But Atlanta only has one airport. So, you know, if you are looking at it living in a suburb that's way up north, just know that you're gonna have probably an hour, hour and a half travel time to get down to the airport. It really just depends on the time of the day that you're traveling through the Atlanta city. Um, so that is one drawback maybe of Atlanta is we only have one airport, but I will say with Delta, like if you move here, just drop your United account and you're going to want to join Delta because that's where you're, you're going to find so many flights and probably the cheapest, um, flying out of Atlanta is through Delta. So yeah, you're just going to have to join the Delta club because I did that and I, I was a loyal United person, but, um, yeah, you have to, you have to make the switch. Now, another thing, you know, both Atlanta and Houston have some great places you can take road trips to, but let's talk about the beaches because if you're like me, I want to know how far is it to the closest beach. So Houston wins on getting to the beach the quickest, but I will say it's not the prettiest beach. Um, so Houston is just an hour drive from Galveston. And if you're just wanting some of that salty air and the breeze, then Galveston will do the trick. But I will say it's not the prettiest of beaches. The, the water's brown. It kind of feels like lake water. Um, but in Atlanta, you know, we are not one hour away. We are more like four hours, four and a half, five, depending on where you go. But we are, you know, I drive down to the Florida um, Panhandle along, it's an area called 30A, and they have some of the most beautiful beaches, like the white sand, the blue water, you feel like you're in the Caribbean. So it's only a five and a half hour drive. Now, if you have kids, add on an hour, hour and a half, because you know, kids. But um, yeah, you can get down to a beach relatively easily and make a long weekend out of it if you wanted to. And the water is way better than Galveston. Now let's compare the weather in these two cities. Now both are, you know, good Southern climates. Houston is just flat out hot. Um, you know, I think I got used to it. And then when I moved and came back to visit, I was like, oh my gosh, how in the world did I survive living here so long? So in Houston, it is just hot and humid from like May through October. It is, you know, the heat is on. And I remember, you know, when I worked at this oil company, we had a service station for our cars just a couple blocks away. So it was seven in the morning. I dropped off my car for an oil change and they're like, oh, do you want us to give you a shuttle ride over to your office? I was like, no, you know, I can walk two blocks, no big deal. I'll never do that again because by the time I walked those two blocks at seven in the morning, I was soaked. It was so humid. I just like soaked through my clothes. So um, lesson learned, you know, 
Houston is very humid. Now, I'm not saying Atlanta isn't humid because it does get humid in Atlanta in the summer months, but it's very um, short-lived. I feel like Atlanta has longer seasons. They ha We have a really nice stretch of spring weather. We have really bad pollen, I will say, but then summer, you know, it's going to be hot. We get into the 90s, 100s. We get some humidity, but then it turns into a nice fall season that lasts a nice stretch again. And then the winter is mild for the most part. Sometimes Atlanta does get snow, just like Houston. Sometimes Houston gets snow and both cities freak out because we don't have the infrastructure or the machinery to handle snow and ice. So in that regard, it is the same. Now, let's talk about rain. So, you know, Houston is very, very flat, flat as a pancake. So whenever there's a big downpour, the whole, all the streets flood. I remember Westheimer was always a big flood, floody, floody mess. <laughs> and Atlanta, yeah, actually we, we get some streets that flood too, but at Houston is more so. Um, but, but both cities get some good downpours. Now I will say with hurricanes, you definitely feel the effects of hurricanes more in Houston than you do in Atlanta. I've actually lived in both cities where there's been a hurricane or remnants of a hurricane that have passed through. And I will say in Houston, it's a lot more intense. Obviously, Houston went through the hurricane um, Harvey. Was it Harvey? Uh, the one that flooded a lot of Houston. I had some friends where their homes were just destroyed from that um, those floods of that hurricane. But you do definitely feel more high winds in the Houston area. You know, it's only an hour off of the coast versus Atlanta. We're about four and a half to five hours away from any coastal line, um, but we can get some of those stronger winds. And the main um, worry with the hurricane coming through the Atlanta area is that Atlanta has tons and tons of trees. So when you get those high winds and the trees fall over, then we get the power outages. And I've experienced, I've had friends that lost power for a week and it just takes some time to repair that. But I would say definitely you're gonna feel the effects of a hurricane a lot more in Houston than you would in Atlanta. But overall, I would say Atlanta wins the weather game because they have just nicer, longer stretches of seasons versus Houston. It's kind of really, really brutally hot for, you know, seven, eight months. And then you get kind of a mild winter, which is nice, but then it just turns, you get like, two weeks of spring and then it's summer again. So um, yeah, Atlanta wins the weather game. When I think of things to do in Atlanta versus Houston, you know, both cities, they're big food cities. Um, I feel like when you have friends or family that come to visit, it's kind of like, what do you do? You go shopping or you go out to eat and then um, you know, both cities have a few different museums and stuff to go to. So um, in that regard, I feel like it is very this similar. Um, now, I will say that, you know, if you like to jog, like I'm a big runner and in Houston, I would run. Oh, I used to live, I had a townhome over by the Memorial Park area and kind of by, um, what is that street? Washington Avenue. So um, I would run a lot over by the Memorial Park, which was a nice loop. And then I know a lot of runners would run along Allen Parkway. And the whole time I lived there, Allen Parkway never had like a nice paved sidewalk. You just kind of had to run through this like cattle trail on the grass. And of course, as soon as I moved from Houston, now they paved it. And um, so now it's a, it's a nice paved trail. But um, Terry Hershey Park was another great running trail in the Houston area, runs along the bayou. So uh, Houston had some great running trails and the same as here in Atlanta. We have what's called the Beltline and it's a 22 mile loop around the city. It's not all the way done, but it is some great running jogging paths um, that you can do. And then, you know, we have a lot of parks here in Atlanta that you can run around as well. Um, I will say there's one big difference though. Houston is flat, 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 and Atlanta is hilly, hilly, hilly. So I got here and I was running along these hills and I had shin splints for like a month. Uh, you, it's something you do have to get used to if you ever really do get used to running up hills, but um, it's definitely a different topography and it, it it takes some getting used to but i think that really makes atlanta really pretty and speaking of pretty which city is prettier i'm sorry if you're my houston peeps out there watching this atlanta is prettier houston is just 
lots of billboards, you know, on the highways. It's just a lot of concrete. Now there's some nice neighborhoods, don't get me wrong. There's nice neighborhoods in the Houston area. But with the tree canopy that Atlanta has and the rolling hills, and even though I complained about the streets all being windy and spaghetti-like, it actually adds a lot of character to the city. So um, yeah, Atlanta is a very pretty city and they have some really beautiful neighborhoods. Again, I'm not saying Houston does not have pretty neighborhoods because I know they do, but when you're just kind of out and about driving through different neighborhoods, um, yeah, I just noticed a difference when I moved to the Atlanta area. Okay, so which has the better food scene? Now that one is definitely going hands down to Houston. Atlanta has a great food scene too, don't get me wrong, but Atlanta is lacking in good barbecue and Tex-Mex. Houston has that covered and I never knew how much I was going to miss that until I moved to Atlanta. Houston just has a great variety of food, um, all sorts of ethnicity types of food and Atlanta, while it does, I feel like it's just lacking in certain departments. And for that reason, I am definitely hands down giving Houston the winning bid on the best food scene. As far as jobs go, so both cities have great economies. You know, in Houston, you're gonna find a lot of the oil and gas industry jobs. I worked in it when I was there and I just know that there's tons and tons of oil and gas companies there. But besides that, there is like a big medical district. I, my husband worked there downtown or south of downtown, the big med center area. So um, I got to know that area very well when I was dating him, he lived right over there. So like off of Kirby and um, yeah, it was just a really cool vibe. And there's a lot of big Fortune 500 companies, both in Houston and in Atlanta. We have UPS, um, Delta, I, I wanna say Chick-fil-A, but they're not a Fortune 500 company, but they're big here. Um, UPS and the list goes on. So we have a good handful of Fortune 500 companies here. and a lot of tech jobs are coming to the Atlanta area. In fact, Atlanta is sometimes referred to as the Silicon Valley of the South. So we've got like Microsoft coming, some Google, there's a Google building here now, some Facebook um, buildings. Um, so a lot of tech jobs happening here, some startups. And the, the film industry has been big here for a number of years, mainly because Georgia gives Hollywood tax credits if they come and shoot their Netflix movies or their big blockbuster movies here. So from time to time, you're gonna see run into some famous people. There you go, you guys. I hope all of this helps you kind of compare and contrast the two cities. In a lot of ways, I think they are very similar and they're also different in their own way. I love living in both, but like I said, some people really enjoy one or the other. And if you are moving from Houston to Atlanta, I can relate to you. So hit me up if you have questions. I'm here to help you find that place to call home. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. All my contact information is below. But until the next video, you guys, I'll see you around the neighborhood.